This is my thorough and complete step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this beautiful Celtic scarf. Welcome to part two, the main Celtic cable section. If you have followed part one, you will have created the rib section to your scarf and you will have 42 stitches. Now there are written instructions and a chart to go with the series. See the description. Look out for my future uploads and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a stitch. I'm Maria May from The Casting On Couch and I can't wait to show you this. So let's begin. For this project, I'm using Freedom Wool. It's a chunky yarn that requires a 10 millimeter needle. So for results similar to mine, marry the ball band tension. So this project is 26 centimeters, 10 and a quarter inches, and each repeat is about 11 centimeters, just over four and a quarter inches. Now a quick note on how to utilize the Celtic cable pattern. Now you can practice the Celtic pattern on its own by casting on 24 stitches and following the middle set of instructions. Note the first and the last line of the instructions create the selvages to form the scarf. This Celtic cable pattern has a 24 stitch and 16 row repeat. With the selvages, it has a 42 stitch and 16 row repeat. For the cabling, you can either use a cable needle or a double pointed needle. So in this video, my preference is the double pointed needle. So row one of the main Celtic pattern goes like this. Begin by knitting two and slipping one knitwise, purling two, and knit four. Next, I want you to purl two, and then I want you to knit two and purl two for two sets. So knit two, purl two, that's one set, knit two, purl two, that's two sets and we're in the centre of the work look where we increased. So get your cable needle now and we're going to do a four stitch right cross. So slip the next two stitches onto a cable needle look and place them at the back of the work. Next knit two from the left needle and now I'm going to slip my cable needle stitches back onto the left needle and I'm going to knit those two stitches there so that's our four stitch right cross completed. Now I want you to bring the yarn to the front we're going to purl two and knit two for two sets. That's one set, purl two, knit two, that's our second set and now purl two, and next I want you to knit four, one, two, three, four, and we're going to end by purling two, slipping one knitwise, and then knitting two. So that's the first row of the main repeat completed. 
So let's turn the work and let's start row two. So begin by knitting two. Purling one. Knitting two. And then purling four. And now we've got two sets of knit two, purl two. So that's knit two, purl two. Knit two, purl two. Then knit two, and purl four. Next, knit two. Then two sets of purl two, knit two, knitting two, so that's one set, purl two, knit two, that's two sets, purl four. Then knit two, purl one, and we're ending with knit two. So that's row two completed. So for row three, begin by knitting two, and slipping one knitwise, purling two and we're going to do a four stitch right cross so with the cable needle at the back slipping two stitches onto the cable needle now knitting two from the left needle and slipping those stitches back onto the left needle that were on the cable needle and knitting those. Now we want to purl two, knit two and purl two. So that's purl two, knit two, and purl two and grab your cable needle we're going to do a three stitch I call this a left purl across so that means we want to travel um, in a left direction so I've put my two stitches there onto the cable needle and holding them in the front so that I can work towards the left next purl one from the left needle like so and then place those two stitches back onto the left needle and knit those two stitches so that's a three stitch left purl cross next we're going to do a three stitch right purl cross so we want the main part of the pattern to travel towards the right. So this time slip just one stitch onto the cable needle and hold at the back. Knit two from the left needle. Knit two 
Now slip that stitch back over onto the left needle and we're going to purl that. So that's a three stitch right purl cross there. Now we're going to repeat that little cabling sequence. So three stitch left purl cross. So we hold these two stitches in front and we are going to purl one stitch from the left needle and place these two stitches over onto the left needle and we're going to knit those. So that's a three stitch left purl cross. Now for our three stitch right purl cross. So this time hold one stitch on your cable needle at the back, knit two from the left needle, take your stitch and place it back onto the left needle and we're going to purl that. So that's our three stitch right purl cross there. Next, purl two, knit two, and purl two, And next we're going to do a four stitch left cross. So the next two stitches, we want to hold those in front of the work, take the yarn to the back so that we can knit the next two stitches from the left needle. Then place these two stitches on the left needle and we can knit those. And now we can finish by purling two and then we slip one knitwise and knit two. So that's row three. Row four, let's begin by knitting two and purling one. Then knit two, purl four. That's two, three, four. Now we're going to knit two and then purl two. And now we can knit three, one, two, three, purl four, one, two, three, and four, knit two, one, two, purl four, one, two, three, four, knit three, one, two, and three, purl two, Knit two, purl four, one, two, three, four, and then knit two, 
purl one and knit two. So that's row four. Now for row five. So let's begin again, as always, with our selvage, knitting two, slipping one, purl two, and knit four. And next we're going to pull two and then we're going to do a three stitch left pull cross so we're working towards the left so that means we've got to hold these next two stitches in the front look I've got a bit tangled up there hold those two stitches in the front and pull one from the left needle and then place the two stitches from the cable needle back over onto the left needle and then we can knit those two so that's our three stitch left purl cross now purl two and then we have got two sets of this a four stitch left cross so that means what does that mean yes holding two stitches at the front like so and then knitting the next two from the left needle and placing your cable needle stitches over onto the left needle so that you can knit those so that's our four stitch left cross followed by a purl two and then we're going to repeat that little sequence again so the next two stitches let's get them onto the cable needle and hold them in the front knit two And then place those two stitches onto the left needle and knit those. And purl two. So that means we've now done two sets of that little sequence there. Now we want to do a three stitch right purl cross. So slip one onto the cable needle and hold at the back and knit two from the left needle place the stitch from the cable needle over onto the left needle and purl that stitch so that's our three stitch right purl cross so I could still keep the yarn to the front actually there. So purl two. And then knit four. Purl two. Slip one and knit two so that's row five now completed row six we are going to knit two and then purl one let me do that again purl one knit two and then purl four one two three 
three, four, knit three, one, two, three, purl two and knit two, And then purl four, and then knit two, and purl two, sorry, purl four, two, three. Four <clears throat> and next knit two purl two and then knit three one two three and we're going to end by purling four. And after purling four, we knit two. Purl one. Getting all my little fibers are kind of catching. And then knit two. So that's row six. Now for row seven. So we are knitting two and slipping on knit wise, purling two, and doing a four stitch right cross here. So let's take the next two stitches and place at the back, knit the next two from the left needle and place your cable needle stitches back over so that you can knit those. Now we want to purl three one. Oh, I'm getting tangled again. Let me do that again. One, two, three, and we want to do a three stitch left pearl cross here. So that means the next two stitches, we hold them in the front of the work and then we pearl one stitch from the left needle and place those cable needle stitches back over onto the left needle so that we can knit those two. And now for a three stitch right purl cross. So this time with the cable needle in the back, we can place that stitch at the back there and knit two. And then get your stitch, place it back onto the left needle so that we can purl it. And that cable sequence we're doing for a total of three times, so that's one set. So now for another left purl cross. So the next two stitches, hold them in the front and then Purl one, place those stitches over onto the left needle so that you can knit two. Now for a three stitch right purl cross, slip that stitch onto the cable needle, hold in the back 
knit two, place the cable stitch over onto the left needle and we want to pull that. So that's our second set complete. So again, we're doing a left twist. So hold two stitches in the front, pull one. Now we can knit those. And now we want to go towards the right, so slip one stitch, hold in the back, knit two, and then slip onto the left needle there, pull that stitch and that's three sets complete. Now pull three, one, two, three, and we now want to do a four stitch left cross, so slip two and hold in the front of your work with the cable needle. And then next, we're going to knit two from the left needle, then place your cable needle stitches back onto the left needle and we can knit them. Now I want you to pull two and slip one knitwise and knit two. So that's row seven. Now for row eight, so we're at the halfway stage here on this row. So we want to knit two, pull one, knit two, and then we can pull four, hmm, do that again. Next, knit four, now we're going to repeat this little sequence twice. So we're going to pull four and knit two. And repeat that for a second set, so pull four, and knit two. So that's our second set. Now we're going to pull four, and then we're going to knit four, one, two, three, four, knit four, one, two, three, four, pearl four again, one, two, three, Four, knit two, pearl one, and knit two. So that's row eight, and you might want to make a note of row eight because row ten is going to be the same. Begin by knitting two. And then slip one knitwise, pull two, and 
and knit four. Next, I want you to purl four. So that's one, two, three, four. Now this little sequence, we're going to repeat it three times. So we're doing a four stitch right cross. So we, with the cable needle at the back, we want to slip two, hold it at the back of the work and knit two from the left needle. And then place those stitches over onto the left needle and knit those. So four stitch right cross followed by a purl two will be one set of that sequence and we're going to do it twice more total of three so full stitch right cross so cable needle at the back slip two hold at the back knit two place your stitches there onto the left needle then knit those and purl two. That's our second set. Now for our third set, cable needle on the ready, slip two, hold at the back with your cable needle, knit two stitches from the left needle Place your cable needle stitches back on the left. Knit those stitches. Purl two. So that's three sets. Next, I want you to purl two. So we've done purl two and purl two, which means we've got four there now. And knit four. Purl two. Slip one knitwise and knit two. So that's row nine. Now row 10, I want you to follow row eight exactly. And once you've done that, join me for row 11. So your work should look something like this so far. Now for row 11. So let's knit two and slip one knitwise, purl two and four stitch right cross next so with the cable needle at the back we slip two onto the cable needle knit two from the left place your stitches back over and knit those so four stitch right cross now purl three now we have a little sequence of three here so first of all uh, we're going to do a three stitch right purl cross so if we slip one and then place it at the back, knit two, place your stitch back over onto the left needle and purl one. 
and then we're going to do a three stitch left purl cross so this time we want two stitches one two on our cable needle at the front and then we're going to purl the next stitch from the left needle place the two stitches back over and we're going to knit those and that sequence we're going to repeat two more times so that's one time so three stitch right purl cross slip the next stitch hold it at the back knit two place it over and onto the left needle and purl into it and then for a three stitch left purl cross take two stitches and place in the front of the work purl one and then slip two onto the left needle and then knit two so that's our second set done so we want a third set so slip one hold at the back knit two place back onto the left needle and purl one so that's our three stitch right purl cross get your cable needle slip two onto it and hold in the front purl one stitch from the left needle slip those two stitches over onto the left needle and knit those so that's our three stitch left purl cross and that's our third set now I want you to purl three one two three and now for our four stitch left cross so slip two onto a cable needle at the front and then knit two from the left needle and then slip those over onto the left needle there and we can knit those so that's our four stitch left cross now we can purl two and slip one knitwise and knit two so that's row 11 row 12 now row 12 is as row 6 next row 13 now my yarn has just snapped it's very delicate this yarn actually so I'm just going to try and splice it back in so just forgive me it's I'm just going to have to twist that in. So continuing on, row 13, with my spliced yarn, I'm going to attempt to knit two, one, try and twist it a bit, it's not ideal that, two, slip one, And continue just rolling that bring to the front and purl two and yarn to the back knit four one two three four so that can be tidied up at the end it's not too bad is it and next <clears throat> purl two knit 
Now we're going to do a three stitch right purl cross. So cable needle to the back, slip one onto the cable needle and then knit two. Slip the cable needle stitch back over and then we can purl that stitch. Three stitch right purl cross completed. Purl two. And next we have two sets of this. So we've got a four stitch left cross purl two. So slip two stitches onto your cable needle and hold in the front. Yarn to the back first. Knit two. Take your stitches from the cable needle, place them back onto the left needle and knit them. And purl two. And we've got another four stitch left cross. So with the cable needle to the front, slip two of those stitches, hold at the front, and then we're going to knit two, take the stitches from the cable needle, place them back on the left needle, and knit those. So that's our four stitch left cross, yarn to the front, purl two. Next we're going to do a three stitch left purl cross so the next two stitches place in the front on a cable needle, then yarn to the front, purl one, then Knit the two stitches from your cable needle. And purl two. Next, knit four. One, two, three, four. And purl two. Slip one knitwise and knit two. So that's row 13 completed. Row 14 is as row four. Row 15, knit two. Slip one knitwise, purl two. And then four stitch right cross. So with your cable needle, slip two and hold in the back of the work. Knit two from the left needle. Place the stitches from your cable needle onto the left needle and we can knit those. Next, purl two, knit two, purl two, and then we're going to repeat this little sequence twice, this little cable sequence. Three stitch right purl cross, so slip the next stitch, hold in the back, knit two from the left needle, slip that cable needle stitch over and onto the left needle, purl one, 
Now we want to do a three stitch left pull cross, this time slip two stitches and hold at the front. Oh, yarn's still in the front there, we need to pull one stitch. Then yarn to the back and knit the two stitches from your cable needle. So that's a three stitch left pull cross. Repeat that little sequence again, three stitch right pull cross. So slip one, hold to the back of the work and knit two from the left needle. Slip that cable needle stitch over and onto the left needle and then we can purl it. Yarn. Do I want that in the back? Actually I don't, do I? I need that at the front. Then three stitch left purl cross, so slip two and hold at the front. Purl one stitch. Slip the two stitches back over onto the left needle and we can knit those two. Look, I've got a, not been very lucky with this yarn, it's got a little join in it there. Next, purl two. knit two and purl two and next we're going to do a four stitch left cross so slip the next two and hold in the front on your cable needle and then knit two stitches And then we're slipping our cable needle stitches over and knitting two. And we're going to end by purling two, slipping one knitwise and then knitting two. Row 16, the final row is as row two and that's the main pattern now completed and this edge here was where I spliced in that yarn it broke at a really inconvenient point right at the start of a row but now it's kind of morphed in doesn't look too bad at all repeat rows 1 to 16 and that will continue to build the Celtic cable when you have about 180 centimetres worth, we can then do the decrease and the final rib section that mirrors the beginning. So let's look at the final stages of the scarf. Now let's call this decrease setup row for the rib pattern, let's call it row A. We're going to lose two stitches which will take us back to 40. Uh, this is a right side row. So I want you to begin by knitting two. Slip one knitwise. Purl two. And knit four. Purl two. Then we're going to knit two, purl two for two sets. So that's one set, knit two, purl two. Next I want you to slip two stitches onto your cable needle and hold at the back. 
And then we're going to do a decrease. We're going to knit the next two stitches together like so. Slip the two stitches from the cable needle back onto the left needle and we're going to do a slip slip knit. So I'm going to slip one, knit one and pass that stitch over like so. That's our decrease done. So where we had four stitches we now only have two. Next purl two, knit two and we've got two sets of that. So that's knit two and again purl two, knit two. Next, purl two and knit four. Purl two. Slip one knitwise and knit two. And just check that you have 40 stitches there. Now that setup row has been done, we can just simply follow rows one to four of the initial rib pattern repeat. So we're going to start by knitting two and purling one. So I want you to do two sets of that pattern. So repeat rows one to four of the initial rib pattern section and then come back to me once you have once you've completed two sets of the repeat once you've completed two sets of the repeat I want you to do one final row so complete row one as the main pattern and then we're ready to bind off or cast off so all I'm going to do is cast off knit wise so I'm just going to knit the next two stitches and then slip one stitch over the other. So this forms a nice firm chain that will hopefully marry the cable cast on that I did in the beginning. But you could cast off in pattern if you wished. So that would mean just following the pattern. So if there's a purl stitch, you cast off purl wise. If there's a knit stitch, you cast off knit wise. I'll leave that up to you, but I'll show you what the cast off edge looks like. So this is what the cast off or bind off looks like. So I'm Maria May from the Casting On Couch. I want to really thank you for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed knitting along with me and I will hopefully see you soon.